string to consist of different type of special characters, numbers and alphabet. Sometimes we require to remove those special character and number so that the string only consists of alphabet. This is also known as data cleaning process. In this video, we are going to detect whether the particular string consists of any special character or number or not. Along with that, we are also going to generate a random string. Why are we require to generate a random string? Let's say you have this is your first day in your company and you visit the administrator. Administrator will hand over the laptop along with the username and the password. The password for each person will be going to be different and uh, it is going to be randomly generated. So for randomly generate those passwords, we require random generation uh, software or we say uh, algorithm which generate those password. So this is going to be one of the application. So we are going to solve or generate uh, those random string. Okay, so let's start with the how to check whether the particular word has a number alphabets or not. We'll start with the assigning this string to a string where object or a variable. So let's execute it. And then we are going to split each of the word so that in the near future we are going to detect whether the particular words are alphabets or not. Okay, so we have split each word and store into a list. Okay, and here we have looped each Python Python list one by one and print it here. Okay, and uh, in this uh, in this program or in this line, we are going to check whether the particular word is uh, alphabet or not. And we for that we are going to use three function, and uh, we start with the is lm function. Uh, it's a string function, and what it will do, it will check whether the particular word is alphanumeric or not. And that means that if any word consists of either of a, a word or numbers, then it will going to give you the true. And here is digit is another function which will check whether the given word is consist of only digits or not. If have uh, if the word has only digit, then it will give you the true. Otherwise, it will give you the false. In is alpha, it will check whether the given word is purely alphabet or not. Okay, so first run it. Okay, so this is a particular pure words which this and for that uh, is the alphanumeric. Yes, it consists of a word, so it's alphanumeric and it's a number false. And for it, the alphabet, yes, true. And if we go to the another so number, so we are looping one by one. This is first, and one, two, three is. Second for the list for the second place one two three is a particular digit so it's going to be give uh, it's going to give for alphanumeric function true and for uh, digit true and for alphabet false. Is twenty three consists of both uh, word and number so it's a combination of both for both so for it will give you is alphabet alphanumeric value it's going to give you the true but for number it's going to give you false and alphabet also it's going to give you false but if you add any special characters into a words then for alphanumeric also it will going to give you the false so that's how you're going to check whether the given words or string consist of any special character or any number or not now we are going to move on to our another problem how to generate a random string first we will import uh, to python library 
random and string and uh, this is uh, which it will give you the length of the password or length of the string so we have kept at six if you wanted to generate a string with the length 10 then just do it like this 10 here yeah. so in this method we are going to generate a random string random dot twice will select any let's say what first we will check what the string dot sky uppercase will do so it consists of uh, okay string first we will execute this cell and then we will execute this one so string dot sky uppercase consists of all the 26 alphabets so here we have given those alphabet and random dot dot twice will randomly select any of the string and uh, it will run in the range of 10 means it loop it will choose 10 times this substring and then it will join using the function dot join and let's execute that okay so we have a 10 randomly selected character and it's uh, given here also if you want a lower case then directly give it here like here so it will randomly choose a lowercase characters if you generally it's good to have a digit in your password so you can also add a password or randomly selected password here just give the plus sign and execute it again now we have uh, got uh, a 10 randomly selected uh, digit and character password or we say string okay so another function to choose uh, is system random this is the same method means the work of both of these function is to choose a uh, choose randomly any of the digit or characters but the system random is more uh, randomly built means its algorithm is more randomly and uh, instead of the choice so i will suggest you to use dot system random if you want more uh, randomly selected uh, keywords or you can say the passwords so if you run this here it will give you same as uh, randomly selected digit and string so that's how we are going to generate a random string for this we are going to end this video if you have any problems or any issues then please uh, comment on comment section of this video i will try to answer those query if you like this video click on like button and uh, please subscribe my channels thank you have a nice day